Get on the boat. Get on the boat. No. Come on. Come on. Please. No, 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 no. No. Come on. No. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Are you guys gonna say something? Why? Why am I on this boat? Huh? Yeah. 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 Hey, am I a prisoner? What did I? What did I do this time? Huh? Oh. All guards, report to bottom deck. There's a situation. Okay. All right. Oh, what did he say? Copy that. Let's move. We're going. Yeah, what about me? Y'all y'all just gonna leave me here? Okay, I guess they are. Uh oh crap. Alright, here we go. You woke up. Alright, let's get it. So I already know what this game is. It's called Isle. It's a horror survivor game where you have to survive on the aisle after your prison boat crashes on it. Pretty simple concept, but holy shit, if you knew everything about this game, you would know this game is far from simple. Anyway, I'm going to be doing the first main three escapes, day one in Island. Oh, this music. Alright, so the first escape is the plane. The plane requires three parts, the steering wheel, the plane steering wheel, and the plane propeller. Does, do planes really need that? Don't ask me, I'm not a pilot. But what I do know is that what's, that's what we need to escape off the aisle, that way. So, yeah. Okay. So I already know where a bunch of locations for everything is. So, first location, is in this little lake cabin by the uh, by the lake. In the lake cabin is the first part that we need. Boom, steering wheel. We have the plane steering wheel now. Now we're actually gonna climb up this mountain and get the second part. In this abandoned warehouse, we have the second part for the plane, which is a plane propeller. As you can see, here it is. Now. We have two out of the three parts we need to repair the plane. Now we need to get the third part. So we have to do a lot of hiking, boys. All right, so we have arrived at the final location. Here, we pick up the plane wheel. So now we have all three parts. And the actual plane is right here. Yeah, this is the airstrip. Though. This is where the plane's gonna take off from. So we put on the plane propeller. Then the plane wheel. No wait, I mean the plane steering wheel. Now everything's in. Everything has been used. So you power up the plane. Here we go, boys. We escaped. Bye bye, aisle. I'm out of here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. There we go. Let's see what you can see. This is this plane is very loud that I can't even hear myself. Hey, we did it. Okay. With no fuel to spare left, I've landed safely away from the island. Why am I back here? Okay, so now it's day one again, a new run. So now we're gonna be doing the boat ending, also known as the sea. So for this one, we actually have to go power up the generators because one of the two parts needed for the boat escape actually is locked behind the gated warehouse. Not the abandoned one where we got the plane propeller. It's locked behind the, the um, what's it called? The, uh, the, the warehouse. So we actually need to power it up and get it. So to power it up, we need to actually go all the way to the generators. So we're going to walk across the villa front or the generator shore either one <laughs> whatever you want to call it oh man look at the fucking sunset dude oh that's so pretty yo let me take a second to just admire this bro all right 
enough admiring of the beautiful sun. All right, I, I generally took like a long ass time to admire that. Uh, but uh, yeah, now we need to actually walk across this thriller front and get all the way to the generators. So yeah, we're not gonna check any of the villager huts or anything. We're just gonna make a straight beeline for the generators. All right, so now we're at the generators. So now we need to t pick up the fuse, all right? And then turn on the generators. You power up the generator. The fuses installed seem to be movable. So we can actually move, so we can actually place this one in here, like this. And now we need to move it to the warehouse, which, boom, right, right there. All right, so we're now at the powered warehouse. Now, since we powered the gate, that gate can actually move. And right here in the back is fuel. So this is part number one of the boat that we need. Now, believe it or not, oh wait, I don't need, I only need one. I only, I need one. Believe it or not, well, you, you technically can actually only, you, you can technically, es quote unquote, escape with only the fuel. Cause you can actually put on, you can just put the fuel on the boat and it, it'll like start driving away into the ocean. Driving away into the ocean. However, you actually also need the fuel. And I'll, I won't explain why, but you'll see. I mean, not, wait, wait, no, sorry, sorry. We also need something else called a decoy module. Cause, uh, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. We need, we need a decoy module as well, right? So, and to get the decoy module, it's actually all the way back at the shipwreck. However, it's in a part of the ship that's locked. So to get it, to open it, we need to get a level two key card, which is actually in these caves. So we gotta do some more adventuring, dude. See, this is the perfect game for Clownbird because he's supposed to be like a pirate adventurer. So this is the perfect game, dude. <laughs> oh my God. And can we just talk about how pretty this game looks, dude? Like if you took a screenshot from this game and send it to me, if I had never played this before, and I'd probably think this is like it was from like an actual like game off of Roblox. But no. This is a fucking Roblox game. And that's crazy, dude. Here. So we now have the key card level two edition. So now we need to go all the way back to the shipwreck where we spawned at. Ugh. Thank God for editing though. Alright, so something I want to talk about is as you obviously, if you can't notice, I'm actually not playing this game on PC. Uh, I'm actually playing this on Xbox. So number one, this game, since it looks amazing, you could obviously imagine how big of a toll it takes on your PC, and that's no exception for mine. Well, if I minimize the window and put the graphics on one, I can play this game normally. However, it's still a pain in the ass to record it because it freezes and lags sometimes. So, not only that, but the game just looks so much prettier on max graphics, dude. But like I said, I can't put it on max graphics or my computer will pretty much explode. So that's why I'm playing on Xbox and I'm, I have no regrets because look at how beautiful this looks, dude. Yeah, this game, this game looks absolutely fucking amazing. Oh yeah, as you can see, the sun is actually setting, which is not good. We should actually still be able to make it to the boat, but I mean, it's not good. So we gotta hurry up, all right? Like, gosh, this is not, this is not looking good. This is, uh, this is not looking good for us. This is not. Oh, oh crap. Okay. All right, boom. So anyway, we've made it back to the shipwreck. It's literally turning night. Uh-oh. All right. So now that we have the level two key card, we can open this. And and here is a lot of cool stuff. We have a light machine gun and two scopes. Oh, this would be perfect if we were doing a true champion run, but we're not. All right, so what we need is actually this. Here, put this out here, I'll grab it, I'll grab it later. What we need is this, decoy module. All right, so it might just turn night, but I'm gonna I'm gonna screw it, screw it. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go at now. So I could wait there until tomorrow, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna be a real man, and I'm gonna get to the boat now. Whew. All right. 
let's go. So up there is the lighthouse, as you can see. Uh, sometimes you might notice I don't talk too much because I'm being very attentive. Because, oh, I don't want to say it. I'm going to say it. If I get jinxed, then oh well. But there is something out here. Not just during the night, during the day. It attacks during the night, but I mean, during the day we're fine. Even during night we're fine. But we just gotta hurry. But we haven't seen it yet. But it's... I don't have, I'm getting a very bad feeling. So... Anyway... We're getting close to the... To the boat. We just have to climb up the hill. As you can see, there's the plane from the escape we just did. But, uh, no, we're not doing the plane escape today. We're doing the booty. Oh god, I'm so scared. Oh shit, you feel drowsy. Oh, okay. Hello, do you have a moment to talk about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No, 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 please, 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 no, 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 come on, there's the boat, there's the boat, okay, can we just get to the boat, can we get on the boat, I don't think we can get attacked on the boat, please, 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 get on the boat. Get on the boat. No! Come on. Come on. Please. No, 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 no. No. Come on. No! 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 Oh my god, no! Uh, I knew I had it too good up to then. But we haven't seen it yet. Oh, and I got this too. Awesome, I'm just getting badges all over the place. <laughs> okay, damn it. Uh. I didn't mean to do that. I, I... The... Oh, is that it? It, it didn't even say anything. Okay, thank, thank you. So guess what? We're gonna camp here. We are gonna. Ooh, yes. This is. Oh my God. This is exactly what I need. This is that. This is literally exactly what I need. This is exactly what I need. This right here. This. This gun has a flashlight on it. Oh wait. Should I go? Oh wait. Wait. Wait, oh, I can defend myself if he attacks now. All right, hold up. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, we're gonna leave again. We're gonna leave. Let me, let me get my fuel. Let me get my stuff. I'll be leaving. I'll be leaving. Because now we have a gun that has a light. And wow, I, whoa. Hey, buddy. Buddy, hey, hey, hey. Oh, he's all the way here too. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. All right. This time, I'm not scared. I mean, I can I barely see 10 feet in front of me? Yes! <laughs> but I mean, this, this flashlight, wow, okay, yeah. This flashlight is doing mad, like this flashlight is shit, bruh. I can still barely see anything. But hey, we have a gun now. Not only that, but he is all, he, he's at the shipwreck right now. His territory can change, it does, it's kind of stupid. But his territory can change between the days. Most days, he'll just stay at one spot during the whole day. So, yeah. But even if he does decide to move from there to the docks or anywhere that we're going, we have a shoddy. This shoddy has a flashlight, which is which sucks. <laughs> like, dude, I, I still can't see. I mean, I could see the silhouette of the lighthouse. But, like, that's about it. Up, never mind. We do feel drowsy. I guess I'm just gonna wait. Here, can we go sleep in the? Uh, should we go here? Let's go sleep in the in the dock house. It isn't powered, but uh, who cares? We got a gun. That's all that matters. Let's turn on this. All right, Stan. Want to show your face? Show your face then. Oh, we got a revolver too. Oh, you lay down and rest. Okay. I'm having a seizure. 
Ah, okay, yeah. See, you see, you see, is how you see how when I got the gun, then he backs off. See, if you see this, that means that you're good. You're not gonna get attacked. You see how when I have the shoddy, that's when he decides that he's gonna back off. You see that. You guys see that. You see that. You see that. How when I when when Mr. Attack and me pull up. You see how he doesn't pull up. Like, yeah, of course, when I didn't have the gun, he was like, oh, hell yeah. Here, come get you some crunchy, boy. That's why he was I like. But as soon as I have the shoddy, he's nowhere to be seen. So, all right. All right, Stan. All right. Whatever. Whatever. I'll be a pussy. I don't care. Because I ain't got no time for that. Now, let's put the decoy module. Decoy module was used. And now the fuel. Alright, now the boat's starting up. Alright, can we turn on the lantern? Alright. Gotta wait for the boat to start. Oh, that's loud. That's loud. I can barely hear myself. What do you mean it's still starting up? Are you kidding me? Come on. Alright. You engage the boat motor. Yes, sir. Alright. This is so loud. Let me, Let me turn that down. Boom. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Let's go. Oh, bye bye, Isle again. I know. I know how much you hate me, and trust me, Isle, I hate you too. So that's why I'm getting out of here while I still can. So I think a long, long ass time ago, I mentioned. Oh, yeah, why, why we need to do a K module deployed? See, it's deployed. As you hear, a monster just tore it up. There's a sea monster. That's the whole reason we're even on the fucking aisle in the first place. No, there's an actual reason, but that's the that's the reason the game shows that we're on the aisle. Eventually, the boat drifted towards mainland. There was no further complications. Why am I back here? Like, like, can someone tell me why I'm back here? But hey, we skipped on the boat. So yeah, like I was saying. The whole reason we're on, the reason the game tells you is that we crashed after the sea monster attacked the boat. And if you try to escape on the boat without the without the deploy module and only the fuel, I mean not the deploy, the deploy module. You only do it, you only use the fuel. Then uh, I'll just show a clip of what happens. We saw that thing could swim because it was in the water before. <gasps> oh! Something large from below toward the boat. I knew it. Dude, 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 give me my. Oh, I have it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you gotta swim down. Oh, here we go. We got the underwater ending, boy. <gasps> You're kidding me. Yeah, the dude fucking tears up your boat. Not a very happy ending. So that's why you need a decoy module to distract him while the boat actually escapes. So now, with that finally done, that took way longer than it should have. It's time for the third and final island escape a regular escape which is all right so we're back at the generators except this time we're not actually going to be powering the warehouse i know we powered the warehouse last time but nope that's not actually how we're powering this time we're powering this time is the observatory right yeah right there all right boom so the observatory is actually up on that hill right up there so, yeah, we gotta climb up this hill. Date, January 20th, 2000 and something. Subject, maintenance. Doctor redacted, as requested, a side gate leading to this lab has been installed under the fishing docks. We will get access, we'll get you the access code as soon as possible. The main entrance security is a work in progress. The automatic defense system and laser grid is scheduled next segment. Please, it's okay, there's a lot of security there. Date March 3rd, 2000 and redacted. Subject laboratory operations, doctor redacted. Test subject A redacted has been moved from wing B of the laboratory to wing A. Subject has shown high levels of aggression under lack of lighting. It has been noted that UV light causes it to turn passive, which it tends to avoid being looked at. So that definitely has to be Stan, because every time you look at Stan, he, he, he goes away. Okay, date March 5th, 2000 and redacted. Subject Island Anomaly Breakthrough, Dr. Redacted. As you're aware, this particular island possesses a strange property. 
is somehow able to m manifest regions of collapsed space that can safely transport organic creatures, including us. In our recent test, we have successfully created and stabilized one of these anomalies in Wing Wu. Further tests are, are recommended. Okay, date, uh, March 10th, 2000 redacted. Subject, weather emergency, doctor redacted. The weather radar has picked up a tropical storm heading towards this island. For your safety, you will be transported off the island. Evacuation procedures are being are beginning. Expect to be escorted by security staff soon. Okay, date, um, this is July 20th, 2000 and redacted. Test subjects, doctor redacted. Another batch of human test subjects are scheduled to be transported onto the island in approximately one month. In addition, Leviathan subject redacted redacted will also be delivered on this island. Wait, it's provided should it break containment. Okay, um, August 11th. Hey, that's nine days before my birthday. Link complete. Doctor redacted. Using the island's anomalies, we have successfully established a teleport link through between our facility and site um, redacted. Although unstable at the moment, we hope to continue studying it. Our instruments have recorded three, four, eight, nine, 20, 24, 28, 23 as the input. Okay, so that's a code. So I'm actually going to write that down. Uh, let me do that. All right, is there anything else? Okay, this is the last thing. This is three days before my birthday. Uh, emergency evacuation. Um, test subject A redacted has escaped detainment and is roaming around the aisle. A security team has been dispatched to locate it. The communications with HQ has failed. Another security team will be escorting you off the island while maintenance staff attempt to repair the damage. Now we have to actually go into the facility. So we can see, we'll see what we find out there. I don't know though, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so here is the facility entrance. So we have another lantern we can turn on. We have a level two key card, which we can actually use right here. I don't think it's gonna be anything like important. So yeah, it's a treasure map, literally like one of the most useless items in this fucking game. So we go through this little tunnel. You can see there's already some stairs here that don't go anywhere. But these stairs, wait, these stairs actually do go somewhere. They go down. And here's a room. So we actually are gonna need this master bypass console. But since I'm on Xbox, I can't really disable security manually as easily as I want to. So we on it, we have to rely on getting rid of the security with this. Also, we also have to quickly do this because there's going to be a laser that comes. And it's going to kill me unless I get in this event. So, okay, so we gotta jump in and boom, just like that. Now we're in to the facility. Oh crap, I feel like I'm on a fucking mission right now. So I can't go over there because there's actually, here I'll show you. There is actually a tripwire. If I step on that, I'm gonna be exploded and I'm gonna die. What we gotta try to do is, no, don't worry. We gotta have to try to hack this. So hacking can be a very tedious or fairly easy challenge depending on the code you get. So I have to match these numbers up these buttons now, i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not no pro hacker at this game i have a friend uh, named natural he's very good at math so he's actually the this actually has to do with math which i'm also not good at so uh, <laughs> yeah but yeah he's really good at hacking so if he was here i would have no problem see we already got one but we need to get them both on that number which like i said depending on the code you get can take a while and you're supposed to be able to, oh, they mean to do that. You're supposed to be able to like make them go down, but since I'm on Xbox, I can only make them go up and then have to reset them all the way. So anyway, let's figure out, it's gonna take a while, but let's figure out how we're gonna crack this code. Yes, okay, I did it. Oh, so now, uh, wait, move. Now we can disable the security. Oh gosh, I'm stuck, oh, no, I'm not, okay. Boom. So now the security is disabled. So, no def? Okay, boom. So now we have the, this whole place to ourselves. Oh, so we can take this giant ass LMG 
Oh, look at this fucking thing. Oh, ho -ho. look at this. Usually there'd be a trap door right there that comes down and ends my life, but we disabled security, so we're good. Look at this. Oh, look at it. This thing is fucking awesome. All right. Okay, I'm so happy. We're gonna do this one try. Right here is a turret. And if you usually, what you have to do is you would have to take, pick it off with a scoped rifle. However, since we were able to hack it, we didn't have to go all the way to the watchtower and get one. So, yeah. Oh shit, we feel drowsy. Damn it. Well, I guess we're gonna have to continue this. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. It doesn't get rid of the message when you trip a wire, by the way. There's also some shit here. I'm gonna take that. Wait, let me see if I can do this before we fall asleep. So what we need to do is just do this. All right, so this is gonna unlock wing B, which is where we need to go to actually get to the portal. But we're about to fall asleep, so you lay down and rest. On um, very, 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 very rare occasions. Okay, it didn't happen. But on very, very rare occasions, Stan can actually appear in the facility. So he didn't, which is good. But I mean, I mean, hey, if I was Stan, I wouldn't, cause I have a fucking LMG. <laughs> LMG, this dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he can appear there. It's really rare though, so of course it didn't happen. But yeah. Now tomorrow night is the night we do the final escape. Wait, well, not tonight. Tomorrow. Not, not, not tomorrow in real life. Tomorrow in this game. Uh. Yeah, the, uh, these goggles I'm wearing are actually a combination of night vision and heat vision. So you're about to see why. Because on day two, I think this might be the security thing. Security, uh, you know, the security team, the computers were talking about in the observatory. So I think that they come on day two to try to get the thing that did the, did the sussy, the sussy monster. Why did I say that? <laughs> they try to come here to kill the monster and also get the prisoners that escaped, aka me and the other people of the other people in the server. But anyway, here it's this machine. So establishing connection to room B120, connection successful, calibrating instruments, calibration complete, testing sensors, noise view de detected, awaiting input. So this is where we input the code to uh, that we found all the way in the thing. So the like it was uh the code was three four eight nine twenty uh twenty four twenty eight and twenty nine wait no Oh shit, I almost messed up. It's not 29, it's 20, it's 38. And then we click the big button in the middle. So it's a wait, it's queuing and link established. It's beginning the connection sequence. So now this is turning on. Holy shit. Holy shit. Alright, I don't actually need any of this stuff, so I'm gonna drop it. But look, look, look what look what's about to happen. So you see the portal's fucking turning on. Oh my gosh. Yo. See, it's moving. It's activating right now. Oh my gosh. Fucking did it. Oh my gosh, yo. The portal is opening. So this is the whole link complete thing that they was talking about, this portal. And it's open. So then we go through, whoop aisle. Once again, I, I won't miss you. <laughs> so we jump through the portal and it takes us out of the aisle again. We made it out through the other side. We ended up inside a cave. We walked out and into a desert. We were free. So why am I back here? Boom, so that's how you do it. So now we have two titles. Uh, I can't really equip them though, cause Xbox is glitchy. But uh, we have two titles now, Island Survivor, which is, would you get for just escaping the aisle once on any escape? And Island Master is what you get for escaping on all three escapes. So boom, that was Isle, all escapes, plus the Stranger Badge, because I got killed at, by, by accident. So uh, yeah, that's how you escape. Uh, if you want to use this video as a tutorial, you can. If it did help you, then like it, 
subscribe for more our content because I'm gonna do the rest of the badges and titles. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you watched this whole 78 minute stream, I mean 74 minute stream, thank you. Uh, anyway, peace out. <laughs> Bye.